hey guys um today i i'm starting my tutorial on uh uh we uh a kind of a video animation video making uh using the icon and we are going to use the three program that i've been showing you the icon 7.8 for the first time character uh, 3dx stage 7.7 .7. Three, yeah, 7.7 .7 for the first time and the uh, uh, character creator 3.3 for the first time so we are going to start animating from zero and I'm going to go direct because I don't want to make this video wrong we are going to uh, animate a character on on the uh, the, the uh, character creator 3 and import this character to icron 7.8 so um, let's let's just go to the business so um, by animating I would just like to go here on this here and I want to have a 3d mesh and I can pick one from this one so this one though they are all free so I can just pick like that one and then I have this thing here so if you see this is a, a a background without anything we can try to rotate it and see how it will look like so that yeah and now we can try to move it a bit so this is how this look like and i would like to leave it like this one so that we can be able to see the sky when we are doing our animation so the, the the next thing i'm going to do i want to make this one look a bit attractive and we can add the sky so i can come here to the atmosphere i want to add the sky yeah so here we have the teaser then I, I click and i want to add the sky so i can choose one like i can choose this one sunset and you see now it is changed if you don't like it you can try to play with this one and see how it look like or this one until you get the one that you like so i don't want to make it so dark uh, so i was trying to rotate this one that is it will look a bit like that one that we can be able to see everything and the sky we can play with it and see which one will fit our so i think this one like in the evening is what that look good so now we can uh, before i uh, start adding anything i like to um i have a house here like um let me just go and show you here so if i go here i have this villa but i'm going to use a house that it doesn't have i bought a house somewhere mm -hmm. So all those th things you can get. So I, I wanted to use this house. So I can download this house here. And this house will be downloaded like you can see here. And now I can come here and open. And I'll have to install this house so that I can find it on the smart gallery. So it doesn't take long time because it's just one house. I'll okay then it's finished and then complete click that's how you when you buy things from the marketplace that's how you download things so you buy you come here and download and now you can come here back and now when you go to your smart card here and you say new so this is so, so i want to find it here i have put it so i have items and new <laughs> go item so i have this house here so i can come here and i, I download it so now i can double click this house 
and this house will appear here this will make me be able to see the size of animation that I'm doing so um, that is one I can double click this way and then I move this house because I want to have like two of them here and I try to put it a bit down not too much and then I double I transform again and then I say I want to do this house at the door look like that then um, I can double click here and I remove that one so if you this one is in triangle and then you double click and to the previous house so I don't want to repeat it I just want to have another one house here so I have now another one and this one I can try to move it still so that is not there are two things I'm um, I was trying to see whether you can click somewhere and then you make it that is on the ground so dummy no so um, now I can be able now to move here and I make this one look a bit but the other thing I'd like to do I'd like to move this house a bit so that's if I have to bring some other items they will not be where this house is so I can do like this way I want to put it on the ground can I to do I think they are that fit so now if you come here and locked it and you can uh, click here and then you try to move and now that you have this one there so our scene is so empty so we need to add things like um, so I wanted to put an, a car I have a car here that I downloaded from the uh, this one I downloaded from the here if you come here I want to show you here this car here and there's something I wanted to show you guys if you download those cars you have to download the one that is on the SketchUp 2015 if you download like we can try if I download this one it will be downloaded and then I come here to 3D exchange uh, 3D exchange etc and I want because you have before you use this color uh, car on the icon you have to put it on the 3D exchange so to get this on map you can come to 3D exchange and you go here to 3D warehouse you open this file so if I come here say open and this is what we have downloaded the last I click here and I open this car yeah yeah yes uh, uh, there's something here so I want a new so I open again this is the car that we have uh, downloaded they will give you this message here this is what I found a bit mean because most of the plots on the 3d warehouse they are from 2016 and up and the 3D exchange can only receive the file or later the file which are sketched up from 2015. So um, if you have the road you have only to download from if you don't it cannot open it will just give you this message and it will not open. So the other car that I downloaded so I'll say open this one was this one here that was a sketch up from 2015. So if I click this one uh, let's see not take long time so we have this car here okay uh, let's just give it like uh, only two seconds it is not going to take any more long um this one we have to open back from the 2016 and 2017 this one this car was the one that I downloaded so 2015 but most of the car that you find here this also 2015 uh, I can also save this one because if you get those one you have to save them uh, so that you can be able to use them so most of them are 2016 and 2017 and over so um, now we have this car 
and sometimes you have to say this car aligned to the cloud because if you it's not on the cloud you cannot export it to the icon you not see it where it is and then you can come here and say apply to icon this one will only take a few minutes and now like you can see here it is leathery and now i have my car i want to move this one a bit here and now if i click here if i do like this one now i can be able now to move my car like that and i can locate this car to face me and then i can come back and i move this car a bit somewhere like you don't have to, you have to shift before somewhere like here now uh, if you see now at my now if you look at now i have now already added three things on my background here now this is like a desert so we need to make it look more like yeah it's the way it is so we can come here now you can see that we add we need to add so we go to the context you go to come and say you want to add like trees and you can take like um i uh, want to see like you can take like uh this tree here those props will always appear there and now you can zoom or rotate a bit and now you see always you have to move those objects far if you leave them there they will come other object here so you see like you want to put it there now there's something that you can do if you want many trees you don't need to drag one and put them here you can come here and say plant and if you see when i'm moving this thing here there's uh, like something like painting and whatever here and but this one is only with one tree if you check here the number of trees on the one i can drag this one here and i say i need like planting like eight trees now if i move it back you see now i have many trees i can just move and click and then i plant trees plant trees plant trees plant trees plant trees and i can come here and i try to see whether my so i can come here start gardening again and i come here and then i plant another trees i come here so um i want to fill up this place you can put the number of three but i had to put eight because i don't want to put most of many of them so again gardening and then i come here and i put trees put trees there and here like that one you can plant where you want to see those trees and let me just put a bit there and then i have to rotate this back the other side and I have to fill here with three too. So I double click, then I come here and I say plant trees, plant trees there. So I can also plant some there. So now it did not take long time. That was a very quick thing that I did in less than three minutes. And my background is full of tree now. So we have for now a car, we have the trees and we have something is still missing like we don't have grass so i can come here and i say now i want to plant grass and like let me go this one here this grass look a bit a bit good so i can just double click and i have this grass here and remember to move it from there before you start uh, doing anything from it you can just move it a bit 
but you can come and put it here where you can see it good and I'd like to rotate this one a bit and then I zoom it so that I am sure so the same process come here if for grass you can try to make the size look don't uh, you can reduce the size of the grass and the height so that it doesn't look so big and now if I come here now I can say come here and I plant my grass here I come and plant this makes the work so easy it doesn't take a long time and you can do so many things within a few seconds then double click and then say plant again plant again there and now you have a photo where you have if you don't like like this class here you can come this one of counting and say you want to remove this grass here so this one will always go like it will disappear so if you want to cut this one you can come and remove the excess grass that you don't need so now we already had added so many things in our in our um, project here but we can also try like uh, because this one look like a desert to give this feeling that what you're doing here is a desert and say to add a tree like this one so I can double click this one here and then I move this tree like I come and put it there um, and if i don't want to plant this tree i can just come and take like this tree here and then i move it a bit there and now i can say that i want to plant a tree for shadow here like if I come and move this one a bit, here I have a big space, I can plant one tree for the shadow. So I can, but I need to see here this, because this all the object will be placed here. So before I do anything, I have to, so I can do like this one, and then I have this tree, and then I have to move, I have to move this tree here, so that I can have a shadow tree. So I can do like this one and I rotate and then I move. And then I move my tree again, transform, move. And this one is a bit hard, but yeah, you can try to see which angle you where you want to put it then you try to move everything yeah you, you can put it like this one will give you a very good angle where you want to put your tree so the same process come here and move and now you can be able to move your tree to this position that's why i wanted to place it to act like a shadow tree that this okay I can come back and I move to check whether my tree is where I wanted to see it. Yeah, it look good. Now we it, we still miss something like we don't have some stones and I want to look for the stones here, smoked water. So I'm looking for the stones. 
uh, I'll try to then create mist smoke tunnel water no atmosphere no environment no fire hmm. sometimes it's just so stupid when you have to look for something here text water tunnel atmosphere grass and I'm missing the sun material plus no texture anything if I see the stone where they are I'll show you guys because at this moment I can't find where I found them so stupid now This leaf is not this supposed to be here on the particles, but I cannot find the stones here anymore. Um, atmosphere, smoke tunnel, no water, no water pipe, no water tank, mix. Mm -hmm. I don't fight them like now so um so that we don't make this video long i'll just show you i just try to check out them on my free time but there's uh, there's some stones here but i don't know where i so um now let me just go back so because you have to do this um now we have our background we have a car and now we have to add some people here and I would like first of all to put this one here uh, my plan was to move the characters from a uh, character creator here and we are going to use the character which I already made here and we apply them on the um, icon so let me start taking a man like I want to take this character the new one the C++ like you know the icon update uh, icon updated everything to more realistic character <coughs> and I'm going to take this man here so okay I want to replace the character let this not take a long time it's only like two seconds then we can move on with our animation so um okay it's already done and now we have our man here he look more realistic better than what we had on the icon 7.7 .7. now we have icon 7.8 so we have to dress this man here we go to the content so we go to the content uh we go to the cross and now we can start dressing him like putting him uh and then we can have like a shirt because uh, we don't then we can choose one from this one uh, I would prefer choosing this one here and then we can look for a good like pants and we can choose uh, this trouser here uh, we can try this one how to look like uh let's see which look better yeah uh, i prefer that one then we can come here and we can choose choose and because he's a man we can try to look 
or which shoes will fit the trouser like you can try that one yeah for me it's good one and others like you can try to look whether there are some other things here yeah. i've not bought anything if you need something you need to go to the um, smart gallery and you buy anything that you need there so i can add him like a cape and i put in some shape yeah he look good now this is our character that we're going out to export if you want to know how to do more of this one the character creator already did a video you can check on it but now i'm not going to go deep so i have to export this one to icon and if you see you go to the files you go to export you see here like um set character to icon and when i click now you see this one is opening here and in few seconds it will be already on the we have our character here if you note something like whatever it everything that we have it is already coming on this here this pos same position here we have so we can try to try to move this character that is not so we can move like you can do like this one and i try to put him here and you have to check that the eggs that don't disappear on the ground so you can say foot contact if you say foot contact it will do direct on the uh the crowd if you click this button here foot contact it will go direct to the crowd so we can now load it back here and we see how our character look like so we can try to zoom now we have our car we can rotate him like you can click here and when you do here you can rotate this character to look on the front we are not going to do anything right now we have to make our second character for our second character i'll not go back to the i up to the character creator i'll take him from so i have to double click here and i remove because if i don't do that on the, the if i in export another character he or she will be replaced by this character so i come there if i need an avatar and now i can choose from one of those girls here like i can take this girl here Uh, hmm. so let's see now you see this she is here if I rotate this one a bit uh, I wanted to rotate uh, no, let me move it a bit so that we can see she is there and now I can move her move her like somewhere like there and I rotate this one because I want to put her sometimes it's not easy you have to look for which angle that will fit then you can come back and you say you want to move your character and you want to put her there and let me load it back because I want to make them look like they are not too far away from each other and then I click back and I can move him a bit like that 
and I still I say foot contact and now I come back and I locate my character and I put her like that and now when I come back here I can see those are two human beings who are on a picnic but now we still don't have animation so I can try to put them there so that we can see them good and now I can become creative and I maybe I want to see like this an angry man who has a problem with a woman and I'll make this woman animation so um, if you still need to add something like if you need to put some shares you can come here and if I so for show you before we start I want to add some shares so there's something I still just dropped add smart gallery and then I can come to free resources want props and yeah and then have those two shares here so remember if you do that one this cow you press with those yellow things they are there so rem remember to uh, first of all double click and make them uh, disappear so you can do like this one and then now if you don't see your share there it is already on this point here this is where your share is so you can just double click and now first of all choose how to select it and then you can say you want to move it and still you need sometimes you have to play with this one to make them move it and then you can using the purple line you can put this here there and now you can lock it here back to see where your share is and now you can try to rotate this share too that it um, look the same direction to where this person is and still you move it a bit good now there's some things if you don't want to import you can come here to edit and there must I'm looking for where create modify because there are somewhere that you have to duplicate. Uh, I think I, I lost the <laughs> pattern. I have to when I don't use those things for a long time I forget some things I find them but there's a way where you can you can check on the uh, I'll, I'll just show you the next time I have to check it because I don't want to make this video look too long that's why I'm trying not to so uh, let me just leave it like this so, uh, this is here I wanted to duplicate it there was a way there's a way to duplicate this here and hmm let me first of all leave it like that too. so um click there and now you, we can try to move this one back and I can decide first of all to leave that way like this one so the first thing I need to do is that uh, when I'm animating I go now to my animation I can come here and I say motion plus and I want male uh, they are female male and I can show this one as my first animation like if I select him 
apps directory and then I say that I want to see him sitting and talking so you see he automatically sits but he's not sitting on the chair so you have to press him to the position where he is sitting on this chair so you can do like this and you can click here and now you can move the chair on front and now you come back here and you try to see whether the chair is positioned and you can move this chair a bit there make it up that he look like exactly he is sitting on this chair um so for me i like it like this way so if you zoom a bit what you can just do a bit is like uh, rotating this chair you can rotate this chair a bit uh, just a bit and you can move it a bit there good now this is a man who is sitting down if you if you do that one please remember to remove object animation because if you don't do that on this chair we also start moving with the man as he's moving so click the chair and remove the object animation even for this car i would like to come here and say remove object animation so that the car doesn't move so uh i don't expect so let's see let's pray well it all started back in 2005 when we were developing a tool to create 3D animation to render um, animated videos. Eventually, it grew into a very interesting application for most of us here. That, at the time, we ourselves didn't even anticipate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was nice. Like, this is the animation is animated with a man and the sound. So, what you see is that he's sitting down and he's following like everything is simple animated. So if you can try to become more creative on your own way and try to make them look the way you want to see them. So I want to still animate this lady here. And for the female, I came here. And the thing is that if I click this one here, this lady will also talk. I don't want to see that one. So. I can come to the free motions and I say I want to see it perform and what I just want to see is this girl just not talking just uh, move I can say move and no I don't want her to cut walk so I, I want to put something uh, like let's try this on her but i hope that she'll not talk together because it's well it all started back in 2005 when we were developing a tool to create 3d animation yeah. to render um animated videos eventually it grew into a very interesting application for most of us here that at the time we ourselves didn't even anticipate Yeah, you know, I liked that and because the other guy did not talk. So now we have done something good. We have made our background, we have done the animation, and now we have this man who is talking. So um, on this video, not first of all Godi, but I can show you how to put your own sound. And this is the video that I'm going out to do tomorrow. So I'll save this video. And from tomorrow, we will go on and start now doing adding our own sound and try to make this video look more realistic.
like a good video so uh, what i'm going to do if you want to save this video so that it doesn't go you can come and say save us i like to save my folders on a position where i can get them tomorrow so I'll, i can go to desktop and i would like to say to add a new folder and i say icron tutorial so and now i can come here and i say this is day five so i have to double click day five um um i, I can say just animation i'll think of what i'll call it okay animation two one and now I can save this project so um, if tomorrow if now um, I say I need a new project I can come here tomorrow and I say I want to open the project and I go now to my desktop the icon tutorial and i have this animation and now i can start from tomorrow to go on with this animation and we can try to become more creative with this animation and i hope that you enjoyed my video today it was a bit long but i hope you learned something too if you learn some that is what makes me happy please don't forget to uh, subscribe and I'm happy for those people who have been subscribing and those people who have been commenting and motivating me and we, we, we are going to learn animation and so um, I wanted to f this video to finish so that we can make sure so you see it will just open for me tomorrow like that way so um, I don't have to do anything so let me just cross this one and I cross all my files. So this one I don't want to save. I say no, don't need it. And this one. So bye for now. And thank you for watching my video. Bye bye.